happy Tuesday morning to you. How is everybody? We are already in the throes of the day. It was too cold this morning, so, well, I don't know. It was in the 30s, and I'm a wimp, you guys, so we didn't go for a walk this morning. It's actually really nice out there. It's really nice out there? Yeah. See, even Mommy, Catherine went out with really the dog, nice. and Mommy did not go out. <laughs> So I'm hoping that, that I'm hoping that today is a good day so that we can get a walk out this afternoon that I'm not too busy to do it because I really want to go for a walk. So we are well into schooling. Let's see what Catherine's doing. She's doing some Khan Academy. She's learning time. And she's doing very well. Are you doing very well? Mm -hmm. Oh, I hear that I hear the happy ding, so you must be doing very well. Olivia, she's doing her Khan Academy. These guys, I'm telling you, these girls, I say guys all the time. These girls love their Khan Academy. I love, I love Khan Academy. Do you like Khan Academy too, but you're too little to use it though. Yeah. So you're cutting some paper, doing some gluing. I don't even have her. Did you master it? In there. You mastered it. Yeah. Oh, cool. I mastered it. So Car Caroline is making something here with um, scissors, glue, paper. Mm -hmm. She's working it. Time to make lunch. I'm gonna turn this butternut squash into a soup. To be honest with you, there are a million ways to make butternut squash soup, and um, I'm sure just about every way is delicious. I love it. So I just, um, like you saw, I just peeled the butternut squash and chopped it in chunks and threw it in the pot. We're gonna let that I love cook it. with a little bit of water, not a lot of water. A little hope. A little water. I, mean, I don't even know how much to tell you. I don't have it covered in water because the steam will cook it too. And we're gonna cook that. I've got three bouillon cubes in there and that'll give it some um, some good taste. Look at the size of that kohlrabi. Isn't that amazing? I don't know who um, saw the, our grocery haul, but we showed you this on there on that video. But these are generally not much bigger than the size of a tennis ball, don't you think, Olivia? Yeah. 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 So now look at it. It's, it's huge. This thing's huge. So I'm going to put this, not the whole thing, in my salad, and we're going to go ahead and make the salad while we're waiting for the butternut squash to cook. See how our, oh yeah, that's good. That squash is good. I'm gonna try to hand blend it. I usually put it in the blender, but I think I'm using my hand blender, which is kind of old and it's not really the best, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it does. Okay, you're gonna have to step away, okay? Can I see still? All right, before I do blend it, I'm gonna go ahead and put some nutritional yeast in you guys. I do not have a recipe for this. I just look at the size of the butternut squash and just start tossing stuff in. 
against some Celtic sea salt. I don't know. I don't think a tablespoon. There's some salt in the bouillon cube, so try not to overdo it. You can add salt to your own. Whoever is going to eat can add salt to their own. And now I'm going to go ahead and blend it. Oh, really? Yeah. That looks pretty good. So that actually did pretty good. It could be smoother in the blender, but I think I'm just going to do that. I wish I had one of those hand, um, what do you call those things you put in the immersion, immersion blender or something. That's what they call it. So, but I don't have one, so I just use what I have. And now I'm going to add some corn to it. Okay. Could I eat some Corn in there. I want to eat. Hey, I'm going to talk to you about corn. I don't want to. I don't no, it's want a good talk. I don't, it's about you getting corn okay. in your mouth. Okay. And then we're going to cook it a little bit longer until the corn is just right. Just a couple minutes. It's really not super thick, but I think we're going to go ahead and put some soy milk in here because something creamy, something milk, something heavier would be better. I, I was thinking about putting some coconut milk in there, but um, Olivia says no. Because it's going to taste like coconut butternut. So we're going to put a little bit of milk in here. Make it kind of a creamy. Here you go. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now, that actually looks better. There's the soup. And you know what? This must be a hit because Nicholas does not like butternut squash soup. And I must have done it right today because he likes it. It's really right, grainy. Nick? Right. What's that? It's not very blended well. It's like very grainy. Oh, you like me? Because I, I should put it in the blender next time. But it still yeah. tastes good, right? Mm hmm Tastes good? Okay. How about you? Do you mm -hmm. like it? Wait. Let's use a spoon, honey. Really? A spoon. Catherine refuses to try it no matter what we do. Catherine. Speak mm, for why. Speak, Catherine. Oh, you can't speak. Your mouth is full. Baby, you love it. It needs to go in the blender next time. It needs to go in the blender. But it tastes really good. Come on, gopher. Let's go for a walk. We'll see ya. Come on, let's go. There's a sweetie. That's the worst part of the job, isn't it, Catherine? Yeah. But somebody's got to do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> and mom has to hold rock. Well, I waited too long to have tea again. But I think I'm going to go ahead and have a drink of water. But you guys, if you want tea, go get some. So good for you. And it tastes good, too. You guys, it is so important to, um, hold on a second. It's so important to stay hydrated. And that's one thing that I have a hard time with is staying hydrated and remembering to drink my water. So drink your water. It's, it's important. It's so good for good health. It, it's so cleansing to the body. It gets rid of the impurities in your body, keeps things flowing uh, well, keeps, uh, helps prevent constipation, all kinds of stuff. But anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in. So, you guys, I've been going through some things lately. I've been thinking about our YouTube channel and how it is growing. And so many of you are such loyal watchers and I so appreciate that and have learned to really um, get to know you guys in a certain way. Not, not the way I'd like to, face to face, but the best way that I can through YouTube. And um, just seeing what God can do through this channel and to see that He is blessing us with this channel. There's the birdies. And I got to thinking, you know, is it too lofty a goal for us to be able to reach a thousand subscribers before the end of the year? I think it's just so important to get the word out that we do not have to be sick and and unwell all the time that God wants us to be healthy and strong and we just we want to share so much what God has shared with us and if you guys really feel like you're being blessed by our channel 
and um, you haven't done so already, please consider liking the videos that you watch, sharing our channel with uh, with others, you know, and, and all other kinds of social media um, avenues there. And just, you know, whatever you can to get the word out and get this message out and get our um, our videos out there so that people can can be blessed. You know, we, we want to be that channel. We want to be a blessing that, um, that God can use, you know, for others. And uh, we enjoy doing it. And even if we, even if it doesn't happen, even if we just have the, those of you who do watch, you know, I am blessed to be able to share and to be able to get to know you guys. And, um, you know, yeah, I just, I just love it. I love it. Another thing I wanted to ask you guys is if you have ideas of things that you want to see. I know some of you do um, offer some some thoughts. Um, I do have some ideas about sharing things like um, natural household cleaners, talking to you about um, personal hygiene products, um, doing more recipes, definitely. If you have a recipe that you would like us to veganize, or if you have um, a special recipe that you'd like us to give a try and put on our videos, um, let us know. You can send us a message, um, send us an email, and I'll put the email address in the description below. Or you can send us a message on Facebook or whatever. So just uh, give us a shout and let us know. Let us know what you think or, um, you know, whatever. So anyhow, we're going to go ahead and get onto this reading because I really need to, to get going. Are you sneezing? He's sneezing. You okay? Poor kitty, are you okay? Hmm? <laughs> so, anyways, let me get on with our reading. I am finding this devotional um, book that I'm reading so such a blessing, and I found another little gem today as I was reading that I wanted to share with you. And this comes from the book called This Day with God. And it's for today's, it's today's reading, November 20, November 25th, November 15th. And um, it comes from the website, egwwritings.org. And this is all of Ellen White's writings. And she was a prolific writer. She did lots and lots and lots and lots of writing. So, um, and she has been um, translated into many di different languages. And she is read all over the world. So, um, on that note, let's move on. Let's read this. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews 12, 2. We should ever cherish feelings of gratitude to those who have shown us favors in time of need. But these feelings that are so readily called into exercise by the kindness and dis disinterestedness of our friends should respond to the love and compassion of our benevolent heavenly friend. This friendship expressed by, near, by nearest and dearest relatives and friends is so far surpassed by the revelation of Jesus Christ that the former is dumb and expressionless when compared with the latter. latter. It is natural that the heart should entertain sentiments of the warmest affection towards those who have done or suffered something for us. Let me lead you to the scene of the crucifixion and show you the Son of God dying in your stead. Will not the, se the spectacle of the cross of Christ awaken every feeling of gratitude? Will it not sweep away the coldness and indifference which steals the senses to the great sacrifice made in our behalf? Satan, the adversary of souls, is constantly at work with his devices and enchantments, stealing away the senses and deadening the feelings to our highest interest. To all the little matters of life, the affections are given free play, but in eternal interest, the affections are trammeled, bound as by magical cords. You know, to be honest with you, I could just read and read and read these words to you. They are just so beautiful, and I would hate for anybody to miss any of this. I, please, I, um, I encourage you to check out this website and read a little more of, of these writings because they are they are definitely inspired by the Lord. Like today, you know, I got, we've been reading a lot from Desire of Ages, I've told you, and that's a book all on the life of Christ, and it just gets me really thinking the sacrifice that Christ made to not only just to, 
to die, not just, not only to die on the cross for us, but also to suffer such um, misunderstanding, such grief on this earth, to come to this earth that we might be saved and one day be with him in heaven eternally is just, it's just, it's just so amazing to me that he loves us so much. You know, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. It, it almost makes me want to cry just to think of the love that God has for us, that he gave his son to suffer that for us. Anyway, oh, you know another thing. I almost forgot again. This little book, Steps to Christ, I want you to have this book. It's so beautiful. It is just um, filled with blessings. And if you want it, I want to give it to you free. So give me your email address. Oh, not your email address. Give me your address that I could send it to you if you want it. If you want it, um, I'll put my email address. I'll put my email address in the description below so that you can um, send me your address. And we'll get it right out to you. I'm going to go, you guys. I'm going to get some sleep. I hope you're doing well. We'll catch you tomorrow. Don't forget to live well and be strong. Bye-bye.